Hello everyone, welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel design team member Kanika Jain this side and in this video I am going to share tutorial of napkin holder using transfer me but before we move forward make sure you hit on the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you don't miss an update from us. So let's get started. So that's the MDF base which I am going to use and like this I am going to color the second side as well. So here I am going to use my sponge brush which is this one and I have taken the shades of pink that is one is baby pink and one is little darker pink so that I can give a monochromatic look and I am using the sponge dauber as it will give a very nice even effect of paint to my base if you want to see how you can use paint brush that is the flat paint brush to apply a coat of even chalk paint you can surely check out my last video on transfer me coasters in that i have used the flat paint brush now on this area i am going to use the darker pink shade to give a monochromatic look and then i am simply going to cover this area like this and at the middle part that is the center i am going to blend in both the colors to create a mid shade and that's how i am going to give a very nice even finish to my chalk paint and as well once this layer is dried up i will apply a second coat as well to give it a very amazing finish and don't forget to cover the sides as well and for the inside part i am going to use paint brush itself to cover it up as it's impossible to reach out inside part using this sponge dauber so that's how it looks once i am done applying a layer of chalk paint now let's start with the magic here I am going to use lace collection transfer me if you have seen my coaster video you know I have used it there as well so for this I am going to pick up these particular two lines and I am going to fussy cut it and I am going to show how you can easily fussy cut this for an amazing finish and as well I am going to show an amazing trick to fussy cut it easily so first of all I am starting to cut off this edges so that I get a very clean edges when I transfer this and now here I am using my fussy cutting scissors and I am just leaving about 1mm or 2mm on the border and if you notice what I am going to do here is I am rotating the transfer me sheet and not my scissors so if you want to fussy cut it very fastly and quickly try this trick and it will save a lot of your time and as well as your work will be done quickly so that's how i'm done on the top part now i'll similarly fussy cut on the lower part that is i will fussy cut these flowers as well now the reason is that i'll get a very nice finish once i do the transfers so all of my fussy cutting is done and you might be thinking where I got the butterflies from so that's as well the transfer me so I have used the vintage butterflies and I have fussy cut four of these from this sheet only and you can see that's how it looks so now let's start with the transfer so first of all I'm going to pick up my lace collection border this one and i am going to mark the area till which i have to trim it out so that i have the exact piece which i have to place over my napkin holder similarly i'll fussy cut this as well i'll trim off the excess Now I'll start to transfer these so first of all I'm peeling off the top transparent film and I'm placing over the transfer me sheet like how I want my pattern to be and pressing it down and I'm placing over these butterflies as well in the way I want them to be placed and what I'm doing here is I'm placing over all of my elements and I'm going to add water together on all of these as it will save my time so here i have taken a bowl of water and as well my sponge and now i'm simply adding water to it like this make sure you don't apply a lot of water very less amount of water till the time you see that the transparent like the translucent look of your transfers and now you can simply peel off 
like here you can see i'm simply sliding off and tada the transfer is done similarly i'll peel off the butterflies as well now i shall move on to the next side and here as well i'm applying this and while doing this i noticed that i didn't place it nicely so i picked it again and placed it again so yes these transfers are amazing you can do that as well if you don't place the elements in the right manner so similarly you can see how quick it is like seriously these transfer me sheets have made my work so easy they are so quick to do and within minutes my projects are done and that's it similarly on this side as well i am just adding water you can see my sponges my sponge rarely has any water i'm just dabbing it off as i don't want excess water make sure you cover airy nicks and knacks and you can see that the transfer will easily come off and here i'm just peeling off the lace pattern and you can see how beautiful this looks now i'm peeling off the butterflies as well now i will let these dry for about some time and i'm just removing the excess water and i'll just leave these to dry so that the water evaporates and then we shall move on to the next step so here you can see that it is dry now i'll move on to the next step that is here i'm using art alchemy wax in the shade electric violet and i'm simply using my index finger and i'm just giving it like this so that it gets a very nice effect and as well on the sides and borders i'll be giving that effect and as well the one thing which you want to know is that you can color your transfer me sheets using these waxes as well which you will see later in this video i am going to do that so here i am just giving that edge look so that my color blends very well and now you can see that i am simply running over my finger on the transfer sheet as well and that's how you can simply color up your transfer me sheets using the waxes as well So that's how it looks once I'm done applying the wax all over my base. Now I'm using the Kerens Aqua Stone Varnish and I'm going to apply two even coats of these to seal up my transfers. And here I'm using a clean flat brush. It is very important to seal off your transfer me sheets and this is one of my favorite varnish to work with and here i am applying one coat of it i let it dry for about an hour and then i'll apply second coat of the varnish again to make sure it's permanent and tada we are done so that's how it looks and that's the final look of my napkin holder and i hope you enjoyed watching this video see you soon until next time till then happy crafting